What's up, gamers? I'm John. This is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Wednesday, March 13th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. This week, we got the Capcom Highlight Showcase, which is like a direct for Capcom. Got to see the future of a few of the games that are out now. The biggest surprise was the trailer that was shown for the next Street Fighter VI character. We all knew that Akuma was going to be the last one to come out of this pack, but we didn't know he was like, how freaking cool he was going to look. He is a demon that is just like Riot, looking for the next fight. Capcom said that they will be releasing him in spring. My guess is sometime at the beginning of May. There's many things that Diablo 4 is good at. Then we have the unlucky parts of the game. According to PC Gamer, over the weekend, top ranked players found a way to boost your score in the gauntlet. This season's event, it's a speed run that takes about 8 minutes within a dungeon. This has created a frenzy causing players to mess up all the leaderboards, knocking off people that actually got a good score without the exploit. Hopefully, they fix this soon because it takes a lot of hard work and planning to reach the top of the leaderboards. Rory Miller from Tom Guide has got his hands on Rise of the Ronin for PlayStation 5, and he claims it might be a surprise Game of the Year contender. The game is being developed by Team Ninja, which brought us the likes of one of the coolest samurai games in Neo. From what he played, the game was combining the likes of Sekiro with Ghost of Tsushima, and it seems to be the perfect mix. The game comes out March 22nd. Final Fantasy XIV is one of the most played games around the world. Maybe it's because it's a game you can jump into and play mindlessly. Or maybe it's like a virtual world that makes you feel better than the real one. With that being the case, Yoshi P, the director of the game, has shared with us that he regrets making the game so stress-free. The director said that he knew that Square Enix was making a great effort to make the game as stress-free as possible. He says that this makes the game easier and not as challenging as it could be. Could this be why he has said in the past that he wants to make one more game before he retires? Do you remember the multiverse game by Warner Brothers? Well, it's been a long time since anyone has really heard any news. Today, we found out that the game will be getting a full release this May. The game will be coming out to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X, PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Another studio is setting up their white flag, choosing to close out only after three years of being announced by Sony. Deviation had a game that was supposed to come out that they were working on, and now it seems that the game will never see the light of day. 2024 has had big ups from all the cool games to announcements, but to be honest, it has been one of the biggest downfalls of the year. Video games are made by hardworking people, but now it seems that they are just letting them go left and right. The people that worked at Deviation Games found out via a post on LinkedIn shared by the studio's chief HR and operations officer, Christy Stoll. PlayStation 5 has two versions of their consoles. One of is this version, the hard copies of the video games, while the other is a digital version that only holds digital content. The people that have the digital version have to be careful. Weird but causing players to be locked out of the digital library. A Reddit user by the name of dsuds2342 shared a message on PlayStation Reddit. He said that there is a bug where the games you have bought will be on your purchase history, but not in your library. And when you try to click on it, it says buy it again, which will then lead to the game being blocked out. This is like using the option restore licenses, which is also doing the same thing. Please be careful because I wouldn't want this happening to anybody in our community. Just when you thought you had held up, it all figured out. Arrowhead throws a curve one at the new monster type. The new Terminite is called a Streaker and it's bringing on a new challenge to both veterans and new players alike. The Streaker is a flying type monster which is a good way to bury enemies. Now it's just not watching out for enemies on the ground, but watching them in the sky too. Let's see what else Helldivers 2 has hidden up their sleeves for the future updates. And finally, the next Ghostbusters movie has to be released on March 22nd. Bungie seems to be fans of the movies because they are doing a collaboration with them for Destiny 2. Lammer is going to be a ghost shell. The Sparrow will be getting a theme Sparrow based on the villain of the movie. And finally, and probably the coolest one, is getting a spaceship inspired by the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. The whole set will cost you 2800 silver or $30. They will be available to download March 19th. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.